it was a history-making day. It's actually the first Thanksgiving with at least three one-score games since 1926. Good That's a good nug for Thanksgiving dinner next year. Welcome to Game Day Final. It's presented by Mercedes-Benz. Mike Am, David Carr with you. Today was actually the inaugural John Madden Thanksgiving celebration, and there's no doubt Coach would have loved it. We had three outstanding games. Capped off with a little bit of drama here between the Patriots and Vikings. You ready to put some points on the board? Let's do it. Yes, I would love to. So, Point number one. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Take a deep breath here. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it's this guy. It's Justin Jefferson and Kirk Cousins. It's Thanksgiving, Yammer. And I think he needs to be thankful for Justin Jefferson because even on that Thielen touchdown, there were three guys on Justin Jefferson. Like, Kirk kind of is who we always knew he would be, right? But Justin Jefferson is single-handedly taking this Minnesota Vikings team where they just shouldn't be. I mean, they're 9-2 and two because of number 18. And let's just be honest about it. He just throws down the field, the plays he made against the Buffalo Bills, the play he made down the left sideline tonight. I mean, the ball was underthrown. It was, I mean, good job giving him a chance. But his late hands on that play, and we'll show it later, it was fantastic. I mean, this is it right here. I mean, he's got two guys on him, and he doesn't know he's getting... He never puts his hands up until the ball's in his chest. I mean, the guy's incredible. So, Justin, Justin Jefferson... Just make sure you get a little bit of, you know, some yams or something. Yeah, something yeah. from Kirk Cousins because, man, he definitely deserves it. Fantastic it, player. Yams best side dish Thanksgiving, or would you go so. a different direction? Yeah, with some you know, marshmallows on top, mac and cheese maybe. Mac How about mac and cheese? Ma not because as good. That's as not bad. That's not a bad side <laughs> dish. And that's my second point. Mac Jones, man, I thought he did a great job. This is the first pass. He fumbled the snap here, and then made an incredible throw down the field. And he found Nelson Aguilar right here for a touchdown. He played great. I was, text, I was texting you guys during the game. You could have thrown it every play. You know, I know protection was a thing, and they were maybe worried about, you know, the offensive line holding up with these two pass rushers. But, man, he was getting the ball out of his hand. He was decisive. These receivers were banged up. Jacoby Myers was getting wrecked. Hunter Henry had a great game, but, honestly, it was the play-action pass there. But Mac Jones, is he's your guy, man. If you're in New England, and they just got to continue to improve. And I know Matt Patricia, it's his, first, it's his first time calling plays for the offense. And there's probably some things he'll look back and say, maybe we, we could have done some more of this. But Mac did a good job tonight. First time multiple touchdown passes in the game this yes. season. That's a win, maybe a confidence booster here. I think you made a really good point. Yams clearly better than mac and cheese unless there's lobster. Right. Which you threw out there. Wow. His palate a little bit more sophisticated really than mine. All right, let's get to, to point number three here. What stands out? Okay, so for me, it's Kirk Cousins, okay? And who says he can't win prime time, okay? Who says Kirk Cousins can't come out here? I know we talked about Justin Jefferson, but the kid made some plays. I mean, we talked about Matt Judon and how he could wreck this game. They didn't let him wreck it. He got the ball out of his hand. He found his check downs. He got the ball where it had to go. He made some big-time plays, even after that early interception, remember? And then we, we talked to Kevin O'Connell on the sideline, and they said, oh, the protection was pretty good. He's got to make that throw. And he's right. And then he made this throw, right? That was like the next pass that he attempted. And then down the field, this was wide open, but he found him. I, I thought Kurt played great. And, yeah, Justin Jefferson gives him a lot of confidence. I think his coach gives him a lot of confidence. But I don't know about the primetime thing, man. I think that this is as big as it gets. John Madden, Thanksgiving. You know, we got turduckins. We got six-legged turkeys everywhere. <laughs> I thought he played great. They're, they're a nine and two football team. And there's team. been some doubts, and I get it, coming off of really what was an embarrassing loss against Dallas to respond like this on Thanksgiving. That's certainly a win. But this thing comes down to, like every game, right? Like these little plays here and there that can make a difference. Yes. We could be talking about a vastly different result. You were pretty fine. Yeah, man, this was, um, this was a touchdown. I, I don't know. I, I, I get frustrated with calls like this. And I think. I think we had we had some good points made in our in our meeting room. Um, just pull the pull the Twitter, you know. This is a touchdown. <laughs> like his hands underneath it. Like look at this. We got a football right here, Yammer. Yeah. yeah. Check this out. So I catch it. Am I am I in possession of this football? Right One thousand percent. I mean, it can move, right? It can hit the ground. His fingers were under it, and then as it rolls, it twists. But I still have it in my hand, and it's on my chest. I don't know. I mean, that, I don't know how you fix it. Yeah. Um, and you could say, oh, you put put X players in there and let them look at that. And say, oh, that's a catch, absolutely. But, but then you get, you get guys that are biased, guys that lean towards the Giants or the Raiders, you know? Yeah, the, this, <laughs> which he does occasionally. <laughs> the demo on set, not as good as in the green room when he was physically rolling around. I'm just uh, saying, it, the ball's but you, lopsided, no, you, funny, but it's still, I, I'm in possession. Yeah. I'm in possession of this football. No, but, you, you were fired up about it, and for good reason. But at the end of the day, we still net out with a Vikings win. Our Tom Pelissero is at the game, oh, finding uh, one of the new additions on this team. Let's talk to him. TJ Hawkinson.
that? TJ, you're used to playing on Thanksgiving. You're not used to winning on Thanksgiving. How'd that one feel? Uh, it felt amazing, you know, to, to have my family here, uh, have all these guys here, be in this stadium. Uh, it's just been awesome. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to come out with the dub. Four days ago on this field, you guys played about as bad as you could possibly play against the Cowboys. What was the difference here? I mean, that just shows what kind of group of guys we got. Uh, you know, it's, it's all short memory. Uh, you know, we don't care what happened the week prior. Uh, and and that's, that's win or loss, you know. So just this group of guys coming out here and uh, on a short week, digesting everything, going through walkthroughs, and uh, really, you know, treating it as a championship mindset. You got an extra little mini buy here, and then you're kind of gearing up for the stretch run. Where does this team have to go from here, develop that consistency to make a run? We just got to continue to get better week to week. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to be a great time to get away from, from football for a couple days and then come back on Monday, and hopefully we're playing for a long time. Congrats, TJ. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, they got a real opportunity yes, to, do. to play for a very long time. Long season here, still a lot to be played, but at 9-2, and two, in a lot of ways, it, they're, in a, they're in a great position right great now spot. in this NFC. Uh, so is this squad playing some really good football. They are. Matching up against the Giants, stack squad at yeah, Dallas. How about this? Dalton Schultz. Third and goal. My goodness. Able to retake the lead at 14-13. Prescott, eight touchdown pass of the season for him. Ensuing Giants drive. It's a fourth and one on their own 45. Yeah, they're going for it, David. They had the oh. play, Amber. They had the play they wanted. Just got to hit it. I'll take a closer look here. I mean, Barkley, I, yeah. almost, I mean, you, you can't get it. mad at him, right? No, no. But they got 10 guys in the field. You know, do you call a timeout here, right? If you, but if you got man coverage, you got what you wanted, you know, yeah. you got your play, you just got to hit it. So they get burned here, so they aren't able to complete that fourth down. The ensuing Cowboys drive. Just showing off now. I mean, this is ridiculous. This I mean, is a catch, I mean, by he, the way. His last three catches were with one. <laughs> this is a catch, yes. With one hand. Yeah, OBJ. Yeah. See, he's showing off for OBJ. He's trying to... He's trying to could happen. Him. He's trying to win. We, we, we all see what the reports are about where he potentially could land. There's that Schultz guy once again. Second touchdown of the game for him. Yeah. Prescott, by the way, 21 to 30 passing, 261 yards, two touchdowns, two picks, but he was terrific in the second half. Yeah, this was nice. They started taking a, a page out of the Giants playbook with these bootlegs towards the end of the game and really opened up that that entire playbook, honestly. I'm a Ferguson, a rookie out of Wisconsin. We need to get all the tight ends over here, though. Yeah, why not? We jump in the bucket. Oh, yeah, it's great. Finishing touches Locked for the, down. yeah, <laughs> remember that game. Dak has actually now won 10 straight games against the Giants. Zeke Elliott, who you didn't see in the highlight, had a rushing touchdown for him, a season-high 92 rushing yards. That'll earn you an interview with Jane Slater. All right, 16 carries, close to 100 yards on the ground. You had that first half touchdown, but the rest of the offense seems slow to get it done. What was the message in the second, in the first half going into the locker room? Um, you know, you know, we came out, we were swinging, but, but and we needed more. Uh, we got to keep landing those body blows, you know, being a physical team that we are, and, you know, eventually they'll break. When we think about you, I think back to your early years and hurdling the defenders. To see a 6'5", 244-pound Titan and Jake Ferguson do it tonight, what did you think? Man, I'm, I'm very impressed by those guys. The two rookie tight ends we got, you know, I got a couple nicknames for them. We got Dumb and Dumber, Mary Kay and Ashley. Uh, we got a bunch of nicknames for them, but it seemed like they trying to steal all my stuff. We got the hurdle. They hopped in the Salvation Army bucket. Um, but, I mean, both of those guys are hella players. Uh, you know, they, they love this game. They play hard, and we're, we're, ha glad, huh? we're happy to have them. <laughs> you know, earlier this week, Dak said that Mike McCarthy picked the word resilience at the beginning of the season, not knowing what was in front of you. This game sort of exemplified that as well. What do you think about this team as you move forward in December? I love this team, man. We're a really, really close group. Uh, we love this game. We play hard. We're physical. Uh, you know, I, we got this defense. The defense.